Documenting his nearly 50 years of traveling the northern wilderness, author John H. Geary has released his second book, East of Superior, True Wilderness Stories. Uh, from the time we came up here, uh, my wife and I, back in the mid-70s, mid early 70s, uh, the reason we came was because what we had heard about Sault Ste. Marie. Had no idea, never came before, came here, and we never wanted to leave. And it was such, the outdoors, the, the so much going on in the outdoors. I just loved paddling. I'd been canoeing since I was a kid. And I just uh, loved to paddle, paddle in New Brunswick. I paddled in many different places. Just loved it. And so this was where we settled. And uh, the, one lady said before we left uh, Toronto, uh, and we came up here to live. She said, why would you go there? All there is is rocks and trees. And I said, yeah, rocks, trees, and water, and that's why we're coming up here. And uh, she couldn't understand that. So there are those that love the outdoors, those that just and like ourselves. And through the years, the Lord has blessed us with many experiences and kept us safe. So I get to meet a lot of wonderful folks uh, going out in the wilderness, taking them out on canoeing trips, fishing trips, and, uh, and other types of trips. And uh, hiking is a big part, even though, and I've been blessed to be able to uh, still hike and uh, do those kind of things. And uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. There is no shortage of thrilling tales and many different true life characters in this collection of interwoven recollections. Some friends of mine who have had life-threatening experiences, very close calls with death in the wilderness. Um, Dean, a good friend of mine who worked in town here as a chiropractor, uh, had a very close call uh, to death. My friend uh, Ted, Trapper Ted we call him, uh, lived up in Spruce Lake for many years and uh, um, with his wife and uh, he had a very, very close call in the, in the winter time with his snowmobile and, and his friend and those uh, with his friend Kirk and those, those couple stories are very uh, scary kind of like they were very close to um, they could have easily died and um, there's other stories in the book such as um, um, Don who works here in town as a chief engineer. Uh, when he was a young man, he, uh, with a group of people, uh, went down the Albany River. And it was uh, a long trip, 500 mile trip on water with canoes and a group of maybe 10 or 12, uh, uh, 15 year olds or so. And uh, yeah, it was uh, quite an interesting story as well. I really enjoyed these, all these different folks. Some of them have passed on to glory, Trapper Ted, for example, and Chris Heising that's Miss Mick, is in the book as well, who's known in town. Um, they moved on, and, uh, but the stories are really, some of them, uh, with these folks, it was fun interviewing them. Join author John Geary in his newest book as he recounts the raw beauty and thrilling experiences of the many adventures in East of Superior. For Go on Shaw, I'm Ann Gordon-Air.